Hello and welcome to session 2, MySQL DBA. We are doing two lectures on prerequisites. First was DBMS, that is Database Management System, and RDBMS. We defined, we discussed 12 rules given by Dr. Cord. And this session is again another prerequisite, that is schema normalization. When any company hire you for as a MySQL DBA, first thing is you need to understand the data which is to be implemented which is to be implemented in uh, MySQL so this session will tell you you may receive data in a different format how can you ensure how can you decide that this data is ready to be implemented in MySQL or not and for that matter any other RTBMS my name is Ram and the portal is theskillpedia.com where the entire course is available Agenda of the session is normalization, the definition, implementation of a normalization process by means of a practical example on first normal form, second normal form, third normal form. So we are not going to just define these normal forms, but we are going to implement them on a real life project, an example project. Normalization. Normalization is performed to reduce or eliminate insertion, deletion, or update related anomalies. That means the consistency should be maintained where, when you are inserting or deleting or updating any records. However, a completely normalized database may not be the most efficient or effective implementation. Denormalization is sometimes used to improve the efficiency. Normalization basically is implemented by splitting the database information across multiple tables. To retrieve complete information from a normalized database, a join is used. Join tends to be expensive in terms of processing time and very large join are very expensive. The implementation of normalization process. In this exercise, we are going to look at the optimization of data structure. The example system we are going to use as a model database, as a model, is a database to keep track of employees of an organization working on different projects. By the end of this exercise, you should be able to show your understanding on why we normalize the data and give formal definition of first normal form, second normal form, third normal form, and also you should be confident enough to apply the process of normalization to your own project. This is the scenario. The data we are going to use, we want to store in MySQL could be expressed as this, as was given in the notebook or register in this format. Project number and when you write on a paper, you leave this project number and then you continue with the project name, Alliance of Tech Private Limited website employee number 11, employee number 12, employee number 16, you continue writing and you don't put all these again, you just, you know that the first record says this and who all are working, you continue writing those employees like Yao Boateng, Derek Otto, Sandeep Rodriguez. so these are working, uh, Yao Boateng is getting in rate category A, he is getting $250, per hour, Derek Otto is getting uh, in rate category B, he is getting $200 per hour, Sandeep Rodriguez is in C category getting 175 then we have another project, 1506 online estate agency. Employee number 11, Yao Boateng is working on this project also. And another user, another employee, Conan Alfred is working on this project. Now there are deliberate errors deliberate inconsistencies left how alert you are that you will tell you will see whether you are able to identify those errors or not we will discuss those anomalies those issues uh, as it will be evident in the lecture why do we need normalization three problems become apparent with our current model the way it was given the rule number was completely violated. Because the rule number one says the table in RDBMS use a simple grid structure. Each project has a set of employees, so we can't even use this format to enter data in a table. How would you construct a query to find employees working on each project? There is no way. All table in an RDBMS needs a key. Rule number two. 
Each record in RDBMS must have a unique key. So which field should be used as a primary key in this record? There is no way. Data entry should be kept to a minimum. Our main problem is that each project contains repeating groups which leads to redundancy and inconsistency. These are the three problems which are quite visible in our current model the way it was given to us. So we can start the process. We could place the data into a table called uh, table projects employees and uh, this still makes some sense where we have a complete grid structure, complete table format. So we have project number 1203, project name is Alliance Softech Private Limited website, employee number 11, employee name Yao Boateng, rate category A, rate is 250, employee number 1203, project name Alliance Softech Private Limited website, employee number 12 Derek Otto, 1203 Alliance Softech Private Limited website. Sandeep Rodridge, rate category C, 1506, online estate agency, employee number 11, and you know project number 1505, 1506. There are, uh, you know, when we are entering uh, data like this, possibilities are there that we commit errors, commit mistakes. Let me see how alert you were while I was talking about the data being entered addressing our three problems. The tables in RDBMS use a simple grid structure. Yeah, we can find members of each project using a simple query by example or SQL QBA which is used in Excel to search on either project number or project name. All tables in RDBMS needs a key we can uniquely identify each product it records though there is no primary key exists but we can use two or more fields to create a composite key as we defined. Data entry should be kept to minimum but our main problem that each project contains repeating groups still remains. To create a RDBMS we have to eliminate these groups or sets which are repeated. Did you notice that website? was misspelled in third record. Let me go back. In third record, you see, it is website. Imagine trying to spot this kind of error in thousands of records. By using this structure, we create a redundant data. Duplicate keep copies of the data, we would have to key in Alliance of Tech Private Limited website three times. Not only do we create uh, waste storage space, we risk creating in inconsistent data. The more often we have to key in the data, more likely we are to make mistakes. The solution is simply to take out the duplication. We do this by identifying a key. How do we identify the key? In this case, we can use the project number and the employee number to uniquely identify each row. So project number employee number we form a unique identifier project number employee number unique identifier and we identify that by using this we look for partial dependencies on the key we look for fields that depends only on part of the key and not the entire key for example project name is dependent only on project number not on employee number. Employee is dependent only on employee number. Rate category is dependent only on prime employee number. Rate is also dependent on employee number only. So we remove these partial dependencies. The fields listed are only dependent on part of the key so we remove them from the table and we put them into a separate table. So we create new tables. Clearly, we can't take the data out and leave it out of our database. We put it into a new table consisting of fields that has the partial dependency and the fields it is dependent on. Looking at our example, we will create two new tables. So how do we define that? On which field 
what is dependent on so dependent on project number is what its project name similarly dependent on employee number is these three fields are dependent on this so therefore we make table like this so we now have three tables project employees where we have project number employee number project number employee number and then table projects which have only two entries first project second project and the table employees which have uh, employee number 11 you have boteng rate category a 250 derek auto rate category b 200 rate category c 2175 conan alfred rate category a 200 let's look at the our problems looking at the project note the reduction in a redundant data the text alliance soft tech private limited website is stored only once not for each occurrence of an employee working on the project inconsistent data because we store the project name once we are less likely to enter that typo the link is made through the key the project number obviously there is no way to remove this duplication without losing the data altogether so but it is far more efficient storing a short number repeatedly rather than a large chunk of text our model has improved but still it is far from perfect there is still room for inconsistency so employee number 11 Yao Boteng Conan Alfred is being paid 200 while Yao Boteng is getting 250 but they are in the same rate category did you notice that that is a problem Again, we have stored redundant data. The hourly rate category relationship is being stored in its entirety. That is, we have to key in both rate category and hourly rate. So what do we do? The solution is same. To remove this excess of data, put the data into another table. We do this by looking for indirect or transitive relationships. The relationship where a non key attribute is dependent on another known key attribute. Hourly rate should depend on rate category, but rate category is not a key. So we remove the transitive relationships as before we remove the redundant data and place it into a separate table. In this case, we create a new table that is table rates and add the field rate category and hourly rate in that. So we then delete hourly rate from the employee table. So we come out with these tables. We now have four tables. Table project employees, table projects, where the we have the project number, which is into table projects, and the employee, which is into table employees. So if I have to get the corresponding detail, I'll refer to this. If I have to get the rate category and rate also, there's a relationship here. If I to write a query, query will be something like this. It is not exact query, but yes. Select employee name, project name, rate from employee table, table rates, and project employees, table projects, where we give set kind of relationship and we use join. This is example of a query when we are fetching the data from multiple tables like this. Again, we have cut down the on the redundancy. It is not impossible to assume rate category A is associated with anything but $250. Our model is now in the most efficient format with minimum redundancy and minimum inconsistency. So what we have formally done is we have normalized our database. At the beginning, we had a data structure where project number, project name, employee number, one and means multiple copies or repeating group, employee name, repeating, rate category, repeating, hourly rate, repeating. So we begin normalization process by moving from zero normal form to first normal form. And that's the definition we actually implemented. The definition of first normal form is there are no repeating groups all the key attributes are defined all attributes are dependent on a primary key so far there was no key and there was no repeating groups and uh, there are there were repeating groups so we remove the repeating groups and define the key and we left with employee project table 
where the project number was a part of the key, project name, employee number was a part of the key. This table was in the first normal form. And then second normal form. A table is in second normal form if it is already in the first normal form and it includes no partial dependencies where an attribute is dependent only on a part of the key but not on the entire key. So we'll look through the table. Project name is dependent only project on project number. Employee name, rate category and hourly rate were dependent only on employee number. So we removed them. We place these fields in a separate table. The key being the part of the original key that they were dependent on. So we were left with these three tables. Project table, employee table, I mean employee project table, employee table and project table. This table were in second normal form. Are they in third normal form? No. A table is said to be in third normal form if it is already in the second normal form and it includes no transitive dependencies. Meaning a known key attribute is dependent on another known key attribute. We can narrow down our search down to the employee table which is the only one with more than one known key attribute. Employee name is not dependent on either rate category or hourly rate and the same applies to rate category but the hourly rate was dependent on rate category. So as before we remove it placing it in its own table and attribute was dependent on as a key. So finally we were left with these four tables employee project, employee, rate category and project. These tables were in third normal form and ready to be implemented. This is the process of normalization. This is what we have discussed with an example. And that's all for this session. If you want to know more about me, visit my profile at rnsangwan.com. Thank you very much.